Hi, I am Mindy Colton from Orlando. I'm so thrilled to have my work in the Museum of Arts and Sciences for this Rose Arts Group Exhibition. My lifelong love and involvement with horses drives my passion to create equine-themed art. I create one-of-a-kind and limited edition sculptures in many media. My focus is not just to create a horse, but to create a concept or story. The large pair of journey traveler horses reflect my love of travel. They are collaged with maps from all over the world. I also try to repurpose materials that might be headed to the fireplace or recycle. The legs are carved tree limbs that I harvest from storms or when trees are trimmed. I only choose very sturdy, healthy ones. I dry them for a long time. I trim, carve, and seal them. The bodies are carved hard polypropylene, ear dried clays, and epoxy clays. It is an additive process where I build up the horse and the sculpture. The maps are ones that would have been discarded. I use some original ones and sometimes I use digital ones. They are all UV sprayed and sealed with gel mediums. The manes and tails are coated copper jeweler's wires. It's an additive sculptural process and layers have to dry before adding the next layer building up the piece. It can take a few months for all the steps. Drying takes longer in Florida because of humidity, even in the house. Sometimes finding the right combination of legs that work together takes some time too. Turquoise talisman is reflective of my love of the Southwest and my many trips I've taken out there and also Colorado. I spent a college summer in Colorado years ago, which hooked me on mountains and the beauty of the West. Talisman has steel legs, which have been covered with epoxy clay. The body is similar to the travel horses, but the entire body has been covered with black epoxy clay. It has to be applied a small area at a time, and then the turquoise beads have to be embedded one at a time as the epoxy sets up very quickly. Creating horse sculptures is both what I love to do and it's been wonderful that I could keep doing what I love during this very difficult time that we are experiencing. And I want to thank the museum for having my work and for being in Beaux-Arts. Thank you.